Okay, Da Vinci, hi. Welcome to Flip Your Wig. How are you? Hey, I'm doing amazing. Yes. What's so, all this that you're doing with your fingers? Oh, uh, it was, it was, uh, my, my friend wanted to say hi. That's all. Oh, right. so cute. Hi, Max, how you doing? I'm really well. How are you, Meech? Great, great, great. Miles, how are you? Doing good, doing good. It's the early morning over here. We'll be all good. Okay. okay, Miles, first question. I'm going to go to you. Did you, you had a wig in last in the last season, didn't you? Oh, who the fuck told you that? <laughs> didn't you have a wig in the last season? Did I get that wrong? Man, it's a look, man. It was about an hour. Yes, you did. No, Katie, you're right. You're right. It was an hour and 30 minute process. It was yeah. a clip on hair piece. I don't want to say it was a wig. <laughs> Wig is different. I feel like females wear wigs. Y'all put it on. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a cat. It was a wig. <laughs> Pledge allegiance to the Black Mafia family. To the Black Mafia family. Season two kicks off um, January the 9th. Um, you're coming back and it means that the audience have, have gravitated towards it, embraced it. This season, it's... It's a lot more, you know, my character is going to go through things that I never went through on, on screen. So it's like, yeah. it's kind of like you got to get through those nerves, but it kind of works out because my character is going through those things for the first time and I'm going through those things for the first time in real life. So yeah. this next season now, um, you go a little bit more depth into who he is and what he stands for, um, his position in life and how he's looking forward to that his self-worth, um, his more of a spiritual side. Because you are playing your dad and you know your family and everybody's going to have an opinion. After season one, did you like, did they all sit down and like, okay, you did this really well, you need to work on this. I'm a perfectionist, so I, I, I'm like that already, but my dad and my family loved it. They didn't have any complaints. My dad just didn't like how I wore the shoestrings. He wore shoestrings more looser than mine. Like, stuff like that, he looked Sad. Like that's how you know he's very tedious with perfectionist. Like, nah, man, I wear my shoestrings like that, man. I'm like, man, what you talking about, man? It's just shoestrings. Nah, you can't wear it like that. You know, he just sort of be, he want everything to be his way. Welcome to the murder capital of the world. Learn how to be a real man by making an honest living. The turf war has escalated. We going out the K9. I already told you, I'm out. You get some action this season. <clears throat> right yeah yeah, a lot yeah. Of i mean listen i always say to women how oh, that type of action you get how <laughs> awkward is it and i i've started to ask guys about this too and a lot of them are like oh, i'm in the gym i'm getting ready because there's going to be a moment where i'm going to have to rip my shirt off and i'm like Ugh. how do you feel about these moments because i don't know if you've done sex scenes before i know you've, you've done a few different things you've been on broadway you've done various things but what goes through your head because you must have known this is a 50 cent series so at some point the clothes are coming off. I actually didn't know. Um, because the character that I played, it was like he wasn't the 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 brother, he wasn't me. It's like Meech was the one that's like, you know, he's Meech, you know, Terry's like the brains of the operation, kind of more reserved and conservative. So I really didn't expect that. Okay. Um, I expect some stuff, but not that. Like I thought all the other characters were have it. My character wasn't so. It was a, it was it was shocking for me, and and it's tough, you know, doing that. And and you know, contrary to popular belief, uh, it's it's just as tough for the man, I believe, as as the woman, you know, portraying scenes like that, you know, because you know, I'm I'm conservative in real life. Are you nervous about the family and friends watching those scenes? Um. Yeah, but I'm just not going to watch it with them. <laughs> okay. Not those okay. scenes. I can't watch those scenes. Do you feel legit now? Do you feel like, yes, I'm a bona fide actor? Yes. Yes. Once, once I got confirmation from the public, and I, I seen people's reaction. Like, I literally, some people see me in public and, and start crying. Like, once I Whoa. seen that, once I seen a magnitude of that, like, it messed me up. It, it really showed me how big it really is because it touches a lot of different people in a lot of places, you know. So it's it's crazy, like, you know, just the different people I'll meet and talk to, you know, that, that like the show and watch the show, you know, like, it's way out of our head. We don't even know. The 50 boys, dead. 12th Street, dead. From now on, we BMF. Pool our resources. 
take over the nation. What she said, I can't hear. You have to say, have you watched Usual Suspects? No, I watched it. Uh, you guys, ahead. have you not watched one of the ultimate gangster films? Tell me, tell me what she said. Hear, hear you. Okay, there's a famous scene where six, five characters are in a lineup and they have to say, hand me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. So I've asked you guys to see it. <laughs> this he's... is not working. Guys, why are you making this up? It take two to tango, but I'm getting ready to take my dance shoes off if you don't say it, man. All right, you all know the drill. When your number is called, step forward and repeat the phrase you've been given. Understand? Number one, step forward. Hand me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. Number two, step forward. Give me the fucking keys, you fucking cocksucker, motherfucker! Knock it off, get back. Number three, step forward. <laughs> Hand me the keys, you cocksucker. In English, please. Excuse me. In English. How many fucking keys? You got to go, what the fuck? <laughs> Number four, step forward. It was bullshit. The whole rap was a setup. Hand me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. It was all the cops' fault. You don't put guys like that into a room together. Five, step forward. Who knows what can happen? Hand me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. I can't say that, man. I don't talk like that, man. That's what I'm saying. Baby, don't talk like that. You would be him. Max, that's that's very bad language. We don't talk like that, man. You guys, I say it. We actors. We gotta say it. You got, but 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 you 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 got. I said it, and I don't even really swear. Like my friends would be like, Max, what are you doing? So oh. can you guys just say the line, please? Uh, I'm look. I know if I say it, I'm gonna be the only one leaving it saying it. No, he trust me, all the rest are going to say it too because I'm talking to everyone else too. It's yeah, only going to be right. this one down the bottom that's saying no. He got right. You saying no? He got to say it and I say it. I got a problem Please saying. say it. Please. Can't say that. He keep me. He trying. He trying to be too cool for school. <laughs> what is it again? Okay, I'll say it. What is it? Hand me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. You ain't got to say it like her. You ain't got to say it like her. Say it first. Why are you trying to get me to say it first? You say it first. Because you're not going to say it. Please say it. <laughs> Your boys were acting like little girls refusing to say the line unless the other one said it first. Lala was like, give it me. Hand me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> and she did it. So the line is, hand me the keys. Bear in mind, I will I can bleep if I need to. And I don't normally swear a lot as well. But the famous line is, hand me the keys. You fucking cock sucker. Can you deliver that line, please? <laughs> and they didn't the want to say that? The irony is oh. Meeks and Miles, I thought, would be like, boom, boom, no. Oh. You first, no, you first, no, you first. Whereas Lala was like, come. Right, right, right. Uh, hand me the keys, you fucking cock sucker. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to say that the mouse is. He's not going to say it. Okay, I am. Neither of you are G's. You both shouldn't be in this show. And I, it, I would say it's been a pleasure to talk to you both, but it absolutely hasn't. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. This is my favorite interview, by the way. Thank oh, you. you're my favorite person. And the dog, where's, where's Baba go? Oh my God. I thought you was done. Get in the game or stay out of it.